Yo, what is good, YouTube? I'm Mike from Michael's J's, and today we are going to be doing the biggest unboxing and review to hit the channel since we started six months ago. I'm talking about this bad boy right next to me. This is the Air Jordan 1 Airship New Beginnings Pack. And if you guys weren't able to cop these on February 12th when they dropped exclusively only in Chicago, then you guys stay tuned, sit back, and enjoy yourselves while I run through these two sneakers right here, the ins and outs of what they're like, the booklets and everything, the box. I got you guys covered. So you guys stay tuned for this review coming up next. Oh, First though, if you guys are new to Michael's J's, thank you for stopping by and watching the content that I'll be bringing you on this New Beginnings pack right here. For all the old subscribers returning, you guys are the MVPs. And if you have not yet hit that red button over there in the corner, make sure you do so and make it gray and joining the squad in 2020. And also beat that bell icon in the face because you never want to miss a beat when I drop bangers like these for the YouTube reviews. Also. I want to send a big shout out to the newest subscriber to the channel, John Legit Kicks. Thank you very much for your support. Thanks for all the comments. And for anybody else that wants to be featured in the next YouTube video, make sure you subscribe to Michael's J's and have your name visible for me to see, and I'll shout you out on the next review. Also, guys, make sure you go and follow Michael's J's on Instagram right here with the screen record. Just type in Michael's J's because that is where I'm going to be putting up the pictures and content before it even comes to YouTube. So you guys know for sure that these things are coming and once they hit Instagram, a video is going to be made next. So make sure you go and follow Michael's J's on Instagram. And also, if you would like to have a New Beginnings pack shirt, we do have an Etsy store. So go follow me on there as well. You'll find out that I have four shirts, one of them being the New Beginnings shirt. So it goes perfectly with today's video. Make sure you guys go and stop by Etsy and check out Michael's J's clothing line. Hey, so with all that out of the way, let's get up into this review right over here with the new beginnings pack that we've got going that's exclusively only dropped in Chicago, Illinois, February 12th of 2020 during All-Star Weekend. I know a bunch of people are upset that this sneaker was exclusively only in Chicago, but all of them pretty much were. But this one was the biggest, most anticipated sneaker that most people were trying to get and it basically every single person took the L. I know a bunch of people on my Instagram are voicing their opinions, saying how upset they are with Jordan Brand, doing everybody like that, but you know what? They know what they're doing. They're building hype around their sneakers, and that is basically what they did here. So we're gonna start off this video in 1984, and yes, I am talking about this guy right here. This is the Jordan Airship. This sneaker came out when I was about three days old, and this was the first sneaker that Michael wore before he even had the Jordan 1 High OG. So in 1984, Michael Jordan joined the Chicago Bulls, and he wanted to work with Adidas. He was wearing Converse while he was in college. He loved Adidas, and nobody gave a shit about Nike not even Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's mother had to force him to get on the plane to go meet with Nike so they can go and make him these sneakers right here, which basically made Nike a global brand. Michael Jordan is the reason why Nike is what it is today. So now I'm gonna hop up off this table here and we're gonna run through the 1984 airship. All right, so 1984, Nike makes the airship. 35 years later, it is the first time this sneaker has ever blessed our feet. So let's get up into it right now. We're gonna start off with the big OG red swoosh right here, and it is going to lead all the way to the back end where you have a hit of Nike Air on the back tab. You do have white leather all around the back. Same thing for the other side white all around, white midsole, and you have a red bottom. The bottom is 
a little different than the Jordan one. There's a few tweaks and you'll see when we get up into that sneaker. Now to the tongue, you do get a Nike Air in white and red and the red kind of bled through the tab right here a little bit, but it does not bleed onto your tongue so you don't have to worry about that. As you can see, it kind of has that pinkish tint to it, but it does not affect the sneaker whatsoever. To the inside guts, you do have a piece of paper instead of a cardboard shoe tree. And in the inside, you do get a sticker. As you guys can see, that is what it says on it. I'm not gonna read off every single thing. You do also have a white insole with a red Nike Air on the inside. So here is the left sneaker. You do get a rolled up red lace pack and that is all that is on the left sneaker. The right sneaker and the left sneaker are exactly the same. All right, so back to the right sneaker. Let's run through another thing that is pretty unique about this shoe right here. And I'm talking about this. This is a lockdown strap. That is not how it is for the Jordan one. The Jordan one has it sewn in right here. So that is pretty cool. You can also see that you do have a elastic band right here to lock you down real tight. That's pretty cool. That I'm glad that they did that. That shows exactly how it was in 1984. So now we're looking at the toe box here. As you can see, the toe box is different from a Jordan one. It is a little bit higher up. You can see they put that leather up high there and it is perforated a little bit different as well. Here is a look at the inside tag and it reads off 7, 17, 19 to 10, 23, 19. That is when the production of this sneaker was made. All right, guys, we are now in 1985 and you are looking at the Jordan 1 High 85 from the New Beginnings pack here. You do have a red swoosh that goes all the way around to the back, red in the back here as well. You have a white panel, red swoosh. You have a white midsole and a red Jordan 1 bottom. Same deal with the tongue. It is white with red lettering on it and the pink kind of bled through. Same deal, same thing. It's not really that big of a deal. This sneaker is fully leather. The leather on it is just like the reverse bread, whatever you guys want to call that one that dropped a couple of weeks ago. This sneaker is exactly the same leather as that. So don't think it's cheap because this is what real leather feels like, guys. It's supposed to be hard and smooth. So now let's get into the guts of the high 85. And you do have, again, paper on the inside as your shoe tree. You do get stock red laces. And you do have that same sticker that you had on the airship telling you the OG hits of the shoe with a white insole and a red Nike Air. Your tag on the inside is exactly the same production dates as the Airship. As well, you do have this 10, 27, 19 with the size on it right here. I'm not sure what the 10, 27, 19 means because the shoe was finished 10, 23, 19. So if you guys know the significance of this date, drop a comment down below. All right, squad, so we are now onto the right sneaker and you do get this little hang tag picture here that shows you the inside of the Jordan. If you guys want to read that, then just pause it right now. But if not, let's keep going. You do also get a pair of white laces rolled up. The inside guts and everything is exactly the same as the left sneaker. All right guys, so here is the toe boxes that I was talking about that the airship is different than the Jordan one. And now you can see exactly what I was trying to say. The toe box on the airship is a little bit more compacted than the 85 high. This one is a little bit bigger. And then you also do have this flap here that you do not have on the Jordan one. And the bottoms are a slight different than the airship. As you can see, you have your normal Jordan 1 bottom, but this is what the airship bottom looks like. As you guys can see here, this Jordan emblem in black is embossed, and I really wish that they would keep the Wings logo looking that 
throughout the rest of the line. Also, I wish they would just do this on every single Jordan one because that pine green that's coming out, that emblem looks so bad. You can't even tell that it's a Wings logo, but on this sneaker, it's to perfection. Your 1984 Airship also comes with a little booklet since it is the first time that this sneaker has ever been produced. They want to let you know exactly how they put this sneaker together and everything like that. So if you guys are interested in reading, just pause the video or go find it online because this is some pretty interesting stuff. So let's get up into the box here. You do have a box that holds both sneakers in it and on one side it says 1984 and the other says 1985. They do both have their own unique paper to it and they do also, as you saw earlier, come with its own booklets as well. This box is pretty heavy, so that's why I'm just gonna show the B-roll of it. The box is a collector-ish item, if you really think about it. There's not many pairs of these. I do think there's only 2,300. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I heard. So this box also has two stickers, one on each side, showing that it has been verified by Nike and they are authentic. So on February 12th, this sneaker debuted at $350 and on all the sneaker apps out there, it is around $2,000 for my size, which is a 10. It goes up for smaller sizes. And so whatever size foot you are, it depends on what the price is gonna be, but it is around $1,500 to $1,800 for this pack right now. That is very expensive. I know a lot of people are upset that they cannot get the pack or they were not in Chicago for the pack. And now on the sneaker apps, they're all thousands and thousands of dollars. So there's gonna be a lot of people that aren't able to have these on their feet. Well, that about wraps it up, guys. You just made it to the end of the video. I appreciate for all you guys that did. Thanks for watching. If you guys have not yet, smash me with a like button. Make sure you make that red button over there, Gray, and you beat that bell icon in the face so you don't miss these bangers throughout 2020. Again, I appreciate all you guys for stopping by and watching my content. Make sure you stay tuned though, because the on feats are coming. I'm way too excited to lace these joints up and get them up on there. So make sure you guys stay to the end of the video because the on feats are the best. Again, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. This is the most exciting shoe that I have in my entire collection. And I was happy to show you guys all about it. So again, thank you. Stay tuned for the next video. Also, don't forget the on feats are coming right now. You guys have a great day. Peace. Simply, 990s on my feet. Who's that? What's that? Who's he? Neighborhood on the scene. Neighborhood on the scene. Yo. Tick tock, time is falling. Silence. Do roll, mileage. Take off, pilot. Ready for blast off. Get ready for blast off. Take off, pilot. Go, go, go. Take off, pilot. Oh my! He's